For decades, astronomers believed the universe was evenly filled with light, galaxies scattered across the endless dark like glitter on black velvet. But they were wrong, terribly wrong. Because between those galaxies, there's nothing. A vast, silent emptiness, a region so large it could swallow billions of galaxies whole. And some scientists believe we're not just near it. We're inside it. This is the greatest cosmic secret we were never meant to find. A mysterious, invisible void stretching across billions of light years. A hole not in space, but in reality itself. The discovery that could change how we understand everything, from dark energy to the Big Bang to where humanity truly sits in the grand design of the cosmos. Because what NASA, ESA, and astronomers from Hawaii found might mean that the universe, the one we think we see, is lying to us. Before we go deeper, subscribe to Where Science Meets Cinematic Storytelling. It all began with the Big Bang. A perfect explosion. Energy becoming matter. Space expanding. Time unfolding. Scientists once thought the aftermath of that explosion spread evenly in every direction. That the universe should look roughly the same, no matter where you are. But telescopes began to tell a different story. NASA's C-O-B-E, W-M-A-P, and Planck missions mapped the cosmic microwave background, the ancient light left behind from the Big Bang, and saw subtle ripples, ripples that shouldn't have been there. Then, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey began to map galaxies in 3D, and what appeared was shocking. The universe wasn't a uniform sea of stars, it was a web. Long, thin filaments of galaxies separated by enormous voids, cosmic deserts. Regions where, for hundreds of millions of light years, there's almost nothing, emptiness. Among these deserts, one stood out, so vast, so underdense, that it seemed to rewrite the laws of cosmology. In 2013, three astronomers, Keenan, Barger, and Cowie, announced evidence for a massive underdensity surrounding the Milky Way itself. They called it the KBC Void. It wasn't a small dip in density, it was colossal, billions of light years wide. And it suggested that our home galaxy sits inside one of the largest empty regions ever discovered. If that's true, then the universe around us might not be expanding the way we think it is. Imagine the universe as a cosmic sponge. Galaxies are the solid parts, voids, the bubbles in between. Now imagine one of those bubbles is our home. That's what the data suggests. Astronomers studying type Ia supernovae, the standard candles used to measure cosmic expansion, noticed something strange. When measuring distances locally, the universe appeared to expand faster than when viewed on a cosmic scale. That discrepancy became known as the Hubble tension. Two measurements of the same universe, giving two different answers. Keenan and his team proposed a bold explanation. What if our region of the cosmos, the one we live in, has less matter than average? If true, that would mean galaxies around us are slightly farther apart, giving the illusion of faster expansion. In other words, we might be sitting inside a cosmic void that bends our perception of reality. NASA's Hubble, ESA's Planck, and Japan's Subaru Telescope all helped build this picture a 3D cosmic map with huge clusters and vast gaps. The KBC void was estimated to stretch nearly 2 billion light years across, with up to 50% less matter than the cosmic average. A bubble of nothingness, 2 billion light years wide, and we are right in the middle. This idea shook cosmology because it challenges the cosmological principle, the belief that the universe looks the same everywhere. If our cosmic neighborhood is so underdense, that assumption falls apart. And it's not just a curiosity, it changes how we interpret the universe's most fundamental numbers, including the age of the cosmos itself. Some simulations even suggest that being in such a void could mimic the effects of dark energy, the mysterious force thought to accelerate the universe's expansion. So maybe the cosmos isn't being pushed apart by some invisible energy. Maybe we just live in the wrong neighborhood. 
And that brings us to a haunting question. If we truly live inside a void, what lies beyond it? A denser universe, a hidden boundary, or something else entirely? The deeper scientists look, the stranger it becomes, because every telescope, every new map, reveals the same unsettling truth. The universe is not what we thought it was. But here's the twist that turned everything upside down. Not everyone agrees the KBC void exists the way we think. Some cosmologists argue the data can't explain the full Hubble tension. Others say the void might be too big to be real. And then another mystery emerged, one that could change the question entirely. What if these voids are not just empty? What if they're illusions, shadows cast by something we don't yet understand? In 1981, scientists discovered another giant emptiness. The boat is void, so large it could fit 2,000 Milky Ways side by side. Astronomers nicknamed it the Great Nothing, but in its center, they found a few faint galaxies, lonely survivors drifting in the dark. How did they form? Why are they still there? No one knows. Some theorists even suggest that what we call voids could be connected, a hidden network where space-time bends differently, perhaps influenced by dark matter we can't yet detect. Others push further, proposing that voids could be mimicking dark energy itself. If true, then the greatest cosmic force we've ever identified might be an illusion, a side effect of where we live. That means the very laws of the universe, the equations behind its expansion, might not apply everywhere, not even here. So what does that make us? Observers or anomalies? If you're still watching, you're among the rare few who truly love space mysteries. So hit subscribe, because what comes next might rewrite cosmic history. Right now, new telescopes are preparing to peer into these cosmic deserts to see what hides within. ESA's Euclid Telescope launched to map dark matter and dark energy across billions of galaxies. NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, planned for the late 2020s, will observe supernovae to refine our understanding of cosmic expansion. And the DESI project, the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, is scanning over 40 million galaxies to detect voids across the universe. Each mission could either confirm the KBC void or destroy the idea completely. But here's the beauty of it. No matter what they find, the result will reshape how we see the universe. If voids are real and responsible for cosmic acceleration, then dark energy, the mysterious substance said to make up 68% of the universe, might not exist at all. That would mean space isn't driven by a hidden force. It's just the geometry of emptiness playing tricks on our instruments. And if that's true, it wouldn't just change physics. It would change philosophy. Because everything we know, our history, our fate, our place in the cosmos, could depend on where we happen to exist in a bubble of almost nothing. We used to think the universe was built from stars, galaxies, and matter. But what if it's built from emptiness instead? A grand design not shaped by what exists, but by what doesn't. Maybe the universe didn't try to hide the void from us. Maybe we just weren't ready to see it. Because when you strip away all the light, the stars, the galaxies, even the atoms, what remains? is the silence that holds it all together. A silence so deep it could cradle eternity itself. In the end, the greatest secret of the cosmos isn't light, it's the space between it. Subscribe for more real stories from the edge of the cosmos, where every discovery changes everything.